Today we're going to take a look at what's inside a rotor. So something I get asked quite often is what do the internal components of an engine look like, how do they work, especially with rotary engines and things like that. So uh, in these next few episodes we're going to actually look at that by cutting engine components, rotors, housings, even some cylinder heads and uh, an engine block in half just to see what they look like inside. Right, so here's our rotor. It's not looking very good. It's pretty old and gross. So this is a rotor. You've got three faces to it. One, two, and a three. Combustion face with a pocket. Apex seal groove. Corner seal. Side seal. This is where stationary gear goes. Inside is a bearing surface, so, and here you've got the passage for where um, oil will drain back and um, cool the rotor, and also with the oil seal uh, rings and grooves here. So the oil that comes out through lubricating the bearing will also fill in these passages here, and these rings are here basically make sure that oil can't bypass from here and into the combustion pocket. This is obviously solid iron, so what we're going to do here is I'll machine off this face and we'll take it back down to see if we can take it down to about here and just see what this looks like underneath this face So it's off the mill, let's have a closer look at what's inside. So you can see here the side seal, corner seal, and the apex seal where they normally sit, and also you've got your oil control inner and outer rings. So all in all there's not really much to it, so just a big lump of machined uh, iron, and then you've got a bearing in the middle, as well as a gear that's located in with these pins. These holes look very small here, um, originally without the face machined off, but you see now with uh, the face this rotor machine you see just how deep these uh, cavities are and these fill with oil and what that oil actually does is it's not for lubrication but it's for cooling and uh, it's why cooling is so important on rotary engine and it's why they have big oil coolers because obviously combustion events taking place here uh, there's a lot of heat obviously all on the face of the rotor and what that oil does is it draws that heat out of this, uh, out of this steel and takes it into the oiling system and a way to be cooled off. So that's why uh, cooling for a rotor engine is is really, really critical because it, it serves a purpose of, of cooling. So in your normal your normal piston everyday road car, you just have your radiator to keep um, the engine block and, and the cylinder head and whatnot cool. In a rotary engine, you also have the cooling system with, um, with water there with the radiator system, uh, but you also have uh, the oil supplying a major major part to to the cooling at the same time so critical that uh, you have a proper working uh, oil cooler system on your rotor engine for exactly that reason all in all that's about all there is to a rotor all right so that's it for today you got to look inside a rotor was it everything you thought it was pretty simple design overall isn't it so if there's anything else you'd like to see inside or understand how it works a bit more depth put it down in the comments below and we'll see if we can get to it until next time, catch you later.